Lincoln police say the 12 year old was abducted on Sunday. She's back home now, but the man accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting her 59 year old Mensa Gozo is behind bars. Police held a news conference today with the latest on the case. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider was there. Police say the 12 year old was reported missing around 10 a.m. Sunday near First and Cornhusker. Just before noon, she was returned back home. Police say they later learned that the child was allegedly kidnapped and taken to 59-year-old Mensa Gozo's home, where he sexually assaulted her. He was arrested later that day and has since been charged with one count sexual assault of a child and one count of child enticement. At the press conference Thursday morning, Assistant Police Chief Jason Stilley spoke on the difficulty of the situation. The decision to come forward and do a press conference on this case is agonizing because we are in the uh, victim and survivor business. So our hearts and, and um, attention is really on the victim and the victim's family right now. LPD had not been able to confirm whether Gozo had established a relationship with the victim or just randomly abducted her. Police say he drove her to his house near 23rd and Vine and assaulted her, gave her a change of clothes, and returned her to her house. Jake Dillsaver, the captain of the Special Victims Unit, says that these are difficult cases and effects on the families are long-standing. Uh, I'd be remiss not to mention the, the great work of a lot of police officers Sunday morning that were helping look for this child, um, the investigators in the Special Victims Unit that uh, have been working tirelessly since this case on Sunday morning. LPD would also like to remind the public that there are resources available for victims of abuse, including the Child Advocacy Center, the Friendship Home, and Project Harmony. I spoke with Jean Klein of Project Harmony, who says we should use these opportunities to discuss with kids as well as adults how to be safe and protect from crimes like this in the future. What it does is it breaks down the barriers and lets the child know that this is this is an adult uh, that I can go to, uh, and and that um, our our talking openly about our bodies and sex and boundaries uh, can encourage children to share and know that they've got a trusted adult. Klein also says that if you suspect a child is being abused or neglected, it should be reported through either the Child Abuse Hotline or by calling 911. Nebraska is a mandatory reporter state, so by law, if you see some kind of abuse, you must report it. This is Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. Now, police are still investigating whether this was an isolated event, but they say there could be other victims out there. Anyone with information should call police their non-emergency number 441-6000.